It's been more than a month since a nationwide shortage of baby formula has left parents struggling to feed their babies. My son is on a complete a hypoallergenic formula. He's on Nutramagen ready to feed. He can't tolerate powder formula. He can't tolerate any type of formula that has a milk base to it. Stephanie Esposito says she even expanded her search to other states, but finding the formula her eight month old needs has been almost impossible. And we've tried other formulas that are amino acid based and he did terrible on it. So we're very limited on what we can use. So about three weeks ago, Esposito decided to do something about it. She started the Formula Finder and J group on Facebook. Members let each other know what stores might have the formula they need by sharing photos of the products on the shelves. To date, over 4,000 people have joined. All you have to do is you go to stores and you take a picture of the formula section and you post it. You say what store you're at, the time, and you know, if somebody is in the area and they see what they need, they can go get it. Um, if people have samples of formula that they don't need, they can post it on there and post where you're from and people can come pick it up. If you have formula you want to trade, you can trade as well. Um, but there's apps I don't allow any selling. These grassroots baby formula groups have proven to be a major help for hundreds of New Jersey moms. Jessica Palea was inspired to create a similar group called the Bergen County Formula Exchange. I mean, we, it takes a village right now to raise all of these children. So I'm just happy that we're able to get these babies something to eat and that they don't need to be hospitalized or God forbid anything else happens. Pelea has two young children. She was able to transition her one-year-old to whole milk, but her almost four-month-old daughter is dependent on formula since breastfeeding isn't an option. I was driving to Muncie, New York. I was driving almost two, three hours away just to find formula only to get there and then there was nothing on the shelves because their um, website wasn't being updated accurately. Now, over 900 babies have been able to get the formula they need thanks to Pelea's group. A little bit of relief as the shortage has drastically worsened. According to Bloomberg News, out-of-stock rates jumped to 70% across the country for the week ending May 21st. That's a 45% increase from the week before. In New Jersey, the shortage rate climbed to 75%. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of, um, there's the financial stress as well as the just stress of what am I going to feed my baby? Um, when we do find cans, they, they have been marked up not by a terrible amount for the stuff that we've bought. We have seen it much higher than what we've paid for it. Um, but you know, we went from paying about $220 for four cans of the specialized formula to paying close to $300, um, you know, should be about $45 a can and we're seeing it at $87, $88 a can, which is a big increase when, when it's that specialized and that's, it's, you can't find it everywhere. I think the biggest challenge is that they don't know what to feed the baby. So they need to be educated on how we can help them in the meantime that they don't have the formula. Pediatrician Dr. Harpreet Kaur says temporary solutions include starting babies on milk if they're close to 11 months old and introducing them to solid food when they're about four to six months. But Dr. Kaur warns parents should never try to make formula at home or dilute it. If you're diluting the formula, you're actually not giving the nutrients that your baby needs. So you're not actually helping the baby to grow, which is one of the most important thing. The other side effect for that is when you're diluting the formula, because the babies cannot uh, uh, contain that water that you're giving, the babies can have hyponatremia, which can actually, the big, big, biggest issue is that the babies can have seizures from them. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.